Hello there everybody to the 5th episode of the SOLIDWORKS TRAIN MODELING TUTORIAL SERIES. Here's a small recap of what we have completed up to now. We completed the major detailing of the main body until the last episode. In this episode, the first 8 minutes will be given to some remaining detailing of the body and after that we will start with the cabin. If you don't wish to see the underbody modeling part, you can directly skip to the cabin modeling. And yes, you may leave your doubts and feedback in the comment section below so that I can clarify them in the upcoming episodes. So this is what we have made up to now. Now we will proceed to the remaining parts of the underbody. The first will be the extrude which shows the fuel tank of our locomotive model. For this I have made a symmetric sketch by using lines, splines and fillets. The sketch surface I selected is the one which we have cut earlier. You may have a quick look at how I have drawn the sketch. And that extrude it by selecting direction to extrude option so that it extrudes in both ways. Now since that part is separate body, we have to make another feature which joins it with main body. After that, we make a feature in similar way. This will show the battery box of our locomotive. Again you can see the sketch surface. This is also a sketch which is extruded in both directions. Again we have to make a feature which joins it with the main body. Now this is just for fine detailing, just a extrude. Another detailing feature, a rectangular sketch made on the back surface and extruded. Now these cylinders we have made in our earlier progress so we will follow the same thing. One different thing here will be the chamfer in place of fillet. Let me show you how to use the chamfer. In the drop down of fillet you find chamfer. Then you select the edge or the surface on which you want it. And now you provide the specification as per your requirements. Mine is 45 degree 20 mm chamfer. Now a pipe by using spline. This I saw in the photos and also on the locomotive, the profile and the path. This again is a feature of fine detailing made by extruding a rectangular sketch drawn on that plane surface. I won't be showing the same thing in detail which we have already made. This is a sketch made by slot, then offset by 10mm and then I extruded it. This cut I have made so that I can make the tank opening on the inclined surface. This one which is just a circle made on that inclined surface and extruded in both directions.
This one is another detailing part drawn on the back surface and extruded up to the front surface. These two features I have mirrored on the other side now. This pipe you can observe that it is interfering with the body. This is done so that it doesn't become a separate body. I have made this feature using sweep command as I have shown you earlier. This is the profile and this will be the path. Now this feature is not significantly required but since I have made it earlier I am showing it now. Another mirror. Just an extrude by uh, inclined rectangular sketch and then cut to make a slot. I have mirrored that on the other side. Now to make the last feature of sweep, we need a base which I have extruded here. And this is the sweep bose. The lower point should remain parallel to z-axis and its height depends on the boggy that we will make later. Mirror that sweep and make an extrude which joins it in between. To mirror up this whole thing we need to make a plane at suitable distance for which I made that sketch line. Keep that sketch visible. The first reference of the plane will be perpendicular surface and second will be the end point of that line we made just. Now just mirror the sweep set and here we finish our body. Oh just forgot to add some more detailing sweeps. Yeah hey, done now. So as I told the lower point of the sketch will be depending on the boggy that we would make later. That's all about the body. Let's go to make the cabin now. Now this is what we will be going to make. The body of cabin would look like this. We have to begin by taking the measurements with the help of our main body. For that in the evaluate tab select measure. Now select the point between which we want to know the distance. Here the length is 2400 mm. Height is 2240 mm. And the minimum width should be 2740 mm. So I have made a block of these dimensions. I have also added some proportional dimension to match it with the cabin design. Now this feature will hold the cabin on the body. It is inside extrude of a simple sketch made on the side surface. We'll add this triangle for some more detailing.
Now I will mirror this on the other side. This is a feature added to match upper design of the cabin. Make sure that the sketch is made on the back surface and not the inclined one. And then you should extrude it up to the inclined one. This is the symmetric sketch. The overall height should match our main body's height or else it would look ugly. Now the unwanted part should be removed by using this simple sketch and cutting it up to the front inclined surface. Since we need two different surfaces here, we have to make a small part though it depends on you whether to make it or not to make it. This is the sketch with a negligible corner. And then we remove the unwanted part by the same method which we used just. Here if you observe you will notice that side surface is little inclined that's because I have cut it. A simple triangle drawn on the uppermost surface and cut it up to the extended surface. On the front you will see that a surface needs to be removed. So we'll remove it, sketch that part on the front surface, cut it up to the back one. Mirror those two cuts on the other side. Now we are adding fillets on the corner of cabin. This cut is for the door. The door will be of the same dimensions. Here we can't remove it till then since our surface is inclined and so it would cut the sides as well. So this will be our cabin door dimensions. This feature is the outer boundary of windows and should be made on the inclined surface. It is just extruded by 10mm you see here. We can easily mirror it on the other side. The sketch of this end to end cut should be made on the straight surface so that it cuts straight See this one surface. The constants of the cut are up to surface which should cut it through. We can't select this surface since it keeps some part so we select directly this one. We should keep some direction to, to cut it clear on the other side. I had forgot to mirror the door cut, I am doing it. Let's now cut out the cabin inside part. It's just a rectangle cut up to the highlighter surface. Connecting the door cut with the cabin cut. Just using here convert entities command and cutting it up to the inside surface. 
Here I have just removed the remaining part from the roof. This again was done by convert entities. Select the inclined surface as the limit. Oh, the upper part is remaining. Again, similar process. Now this is outer frame of window. This is made by making a very simple sketch and using thin extrude feature. Mirroring the same on the other side. This is the window glass. We will see the appearance part later on. But for making this, make sure you extrude it in such a way that it remains different from other surfaces from both sides. You can try the offset command also here. For the other side you can either mirror or can also follow the same procedure. This one is made by same process. Adding some small cuts to make the surface different. From inside too. And now mirror. Let's now move towards the headlight part. Use this surface for sketch. And make this symmetric sketch. Use up to next command to get a precise extrude. So the headlights are now being made. Use draft option here by giving 10 degree draft. Same for this circle, use draft here also to match the surface. Cut these two circles inside by using offset in the sketch mode like what I have done. Don't forget to give fillets to make it look cool. Now go to insert, features and dome to insert the dome. The dome feature we have used in our earlier videos. Here select both the surfaces. Now we are moving towards the dimmer lights. We have to follow the same procedure. Extrude, then cut and then dome. Mirror that both on the other side. Let's now go to the flasher light. First we need to make a base. Observe closely what surface I have chosen to make the sketch. That's the back surface. We will remove the extra part now which is not needed. Now again same procedure for the light, extrude, then cut and then dome. 
just we are using an extra chamfer over here so guys that's all for this time since we are approaching the 20 minutes mark so we shall continue the remaining in the next video thank you for watching have a good time